Okay, people. Um, in my last three, I think, Power School tutorials, I've shown you everything about grades, teacher comments, all this stuff. But, a little something to tell you, you might want to watch your kids. Because you never know what they're up to. And trust me, as a kid right here, I tend to w watch over what my brother, who's that, sisters, whoever might be on my computer does. Because, here's a little something that could happen. Watch what, I, what I'm going to show you that I've recently found on YouTube. If they go to Firefox or whatever the heck their browser is, they open that up, right? Let me move that. They type in, or go to YouTube, I'm just going to type that in. And apologies for the fan noise, my computer is getting overheated. And it's not even at 100% yet, as you may see. Okay, so if I search Power School Hack, watch what easily could happen. Your kid or could just click on this. And, and they say that it doesn't really affect your grades, but they give you a code. Okay. Right here's the code that they, that they could copy and paste. Command C or whatever they do. Then I go here. Then I could log into my sister's power school, for example. So, so she's logged in, right? She could copy, paste that right there. And bam. But it's not going to work for me because I'm using the dumb Firefox driver. So, let's use Safari for a change. Oops. That's mine. I typed too fast. I don't even know what I'm typing. But yes, I'll let you remember that. Okay, so here's her... Oops. Here's her actual grades right now. If I put that code in there, then press enter, look, whoops, they could easily just do this. See? Next you know they could copy and paste this. Whoops. Oh well. And she wouldn't have to worry about anything because, you know, she's like, oh, I won't get in trouble. So they could just keep on entering in what they feel is be best for them. So they can keep on copying and pasting. And I've recently known this ever since I searched the video. So, I'm not really surprised by what I've seen. And they can change whatever they please. The reason why I'm doing this is because it's a little alert for you. Basically. I'm not really f for sure about these zeros right here for Homeroom. But, but I know... That it, what I know is, if you don't put any grades in, this is for teachers, not you parents, but if you put in the grades, you're going to end up, well, if you don't put in grades, you're going to end up with this zero. Now, look, it's not going to really count against the students. It's just going to be nothing. So, hopefully this, hopefully this video was a good update on, on what your kids can do. And let's say they had one, one, and one. Then they had three absences for this day, this day, this, whoops, this day. Will these absences really count against them? No. But what if they had one, one, four, whoops, 
six, five. Now three plus five would be eight. Then six plus four, I'm just gonna put in like 10, 11, 12. Now look, down here it will pop up like, oh, the students had one tardy. But yet, your students could, your child could do anything. I mean, really, they, they could change their grades to a 4.0. For all I could care. Hey, it's whatever your child does. I don't keep track of their grades. I really don't care about their grades. No offense to parents out there, but still. They could change any of their attendance. But this will not really count against them. But somehow, I've learned in the past that this could really affect your students' grades. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video was helpful. Bye.